I'm Aileen Van Pelt, Media Relations and Development Manager here at the Palm Beach Zoo. Today we're talking about giant anteaters. When it comes to giant anteaters, there's a lot we know and a lot we assume. Take for instance their giant nose. We assume that because their nose is so big, they use their keen sense of smell to find their food. But in this case, looks can be deceiving. So we here at the Palm Beach Zoo are trying to unravel the mystery of the giant anteater. How is it that they actually find their food? Is it primarily their keen sense of smell? Or do they use, like other animals, their memory? Hi, my name is Farron Healy and I work with the giant anteaters here at the Palm Beach Zoo. Uh, giant anteaters are one of the species where there's really not that much known about them out in the wild. And by working with them here in a captive situation, we're able to learn much more about their behavior out in the wild. I've been working here at the Palm Beach Zoo for about two years now, and I had no idea where my love would fall until I met the giant anteaters. Really the only thing that I knew, and most everyone else knows, is that they eat ants. We actually have the second largest collection behind Nashville Zoo in North America of giant anteaters. We have two that were actually from the wild. That's Cruz and Odelia. They're a proven breeding pair. Um, from them, we have two offspring, Eo and Mateo. Um, and then we have two females brought in to breed with Eo and Mateo. And then, of course, we have Abner, who is off by himself. So here at the zoo, our eaters get what's called an insectivore diet. Um, what that is, basically just a dry, small, pelleted form that we're actually gonna soak, and then we blend it up with some bananas and oranges, avocados, some yummy stuff, and then they basically just lap it up like a big smoothie. Yeah. Recipe for the diet stays the same, and then we'll add extras into it if we have problem eater, a little peach nectar for flavor. As you just heard Farron say, we have the second largest collection of giant ant eaters in the country. So we've learned a lot over the years. We also know how to take care of these animals, but what we wanted to do was design an experiment to learn even more. I'm Leilani Duplassi, I'm an honors student at FAU, and I'm working on an, a thesis in partnership with the Palm Beach Zoo. Okay, for my research, I wanted to learn more about how anteaters forage for food. We don't know a lot about how wild anteaters behave, so we wanted to see if they used smell or if they used spatial memory to find their food. So when I did my preliminary research, I found studies on hummingbirds and because of their energy requirements, they have to have spatial memory in order to remember which flowers have nectar that they haven't already fed on. And anteaters have a similar replenishing resource, so I thought maybe they have something similar going on. Spatial memory is the ability of an animal to remember the location of the food that they are trying to find, that they have found in the past. And hummingbirds have to have spatial memory because if they don't find food very quickly, then they'll die because of their energy requirements. We don't know actually if they deplete their ant hills completely, uh, but they have a set territory, and within those territories, there are only a certain number of food sources, ant hills. So it would make sense for them to know the location of those ant hills so that they can return to them when they need more food. Uh, to supplement their diet at the zoo, the anteaters eat other things, such as avocado, which is used in this experiment here. We're watching Abner uh, go through the experiment, and four of the feeders here, out of eight, are baited with avocado, and he has to find which ones have the food. We have two phases of the study, and in the first phase, we bait four of them, and he has a certain uh, amount of time, 15 days, in order to learn which ones have food. And then, after that phase is over, we switch it so that the previously baited feeders don't have food. And we want to see if he still returns to those baiters. And if he does, then it's likely that he's using spatial memory. When we reversed the study, in phase two, we did see him go to the unbaited feeders that used to have food. He went to all four of the previously baited feeders right away. So it's possible that he is using spatial memory. 
Most people think of the zoo as a place to just go see animals, but really we are a living laboratory. We foster science and are always looking for ways to collaborate with students across the country. It is part of our mission. So come get wild with us and the giant anteaters at the Palm Beach Zoo. Cause I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood.